But joining us now with What to Watch, please welcome from eTalk and resident judge on Canada's Drag Race, Tracy Melshore. Hey, Tracy! <laughs> So amped that you are here. Me too. Mac and Cheese Week. I know. And the Wheel of Haircut. I know. I mean, it's a good time it's to be here. It's a good day. Mm -hmm. I also feel like we've like done a complete reverse. It's true. I'm usually interviewing you. I know. Pickering's finest, Pickering's, right here. Yeah, we're, we're doing are doing taking it. over <laughs> national television. Yeah. I love it. Congratulations, oh my PS. Gosh. Oh, thank you so, You're so, so much. So amazing thank and doing you. so well, and just all the best for you. Speaking of cooking, yes, we're starting in the kitchen with what to watch. We really are. Yes. You know, let's talk Selena and Chef mm -hmm. home for the holiday. Yeah. So I discovered Selena and Chef uh, during lockdown. Mm -hmm. You know, we were all locked down, and mm -hmm. she virtually brought chefs into her kitchen mm -hmm. to show her how to cook. And mm -hmm. I even tried one of the recipes when she made the omelet with the borsan cheese. Oh my gosh, so good! And I was like, I was pretty good. Yeah. You know. So and she's so. I mean, she's such a multi faceted, talented artist. Mm -hmm. She's a pop star, she's an actor, mm -hmm. she's a philanthropist, she's a businesswoman, and she still has time to cook and, and to show us how to figure things out in the kitchen, much like you, Mary Bird. Yeah, and so, oh, thank you. So, so, yeah, so, yeah, so for Selena and Chef, home for the holidays, it is season five, mm -hmm. and she's getting prepared for the holidays. Yeah. And it's uh, four episodes, like I said, it's really fun and fabulous, mm -hmm. and it is streaming with new episodes on Thursdays, mm -hmm. starting November 30th. So getting into that holiday season. Yes, you know, a little holiday spirit. Yeah, I loved that show too. I, I also started watching it during lockdown. Yeah. And it was so neat seeing her maybe flub up every once in a Being while. Being very vulnerable. Super vulnerable. And I also loved that sometimes her dish would look better than the chef's. And Absolutely. I was like, Selena Gomez, what can't you do? <laughs> I know, yeah. she does it all. It really does. She really is talented. Now, a little bit of a turn. <laughs> You're gonna tell me, what is Love Island Games? Love Island, so. Love Island is my guilty pleasure. Okay. okay the Love Island U.S. Mm -hmm. In August, my kids can find me in front of my TV, yeah. um, watching it most nights of the week. Yeah. So it is when sexy singles come together on, a on an island. Mm -hmm. Well, during lockdown, they're in Vegas, but you know, that's another story. Yeah. And so they come together to look for love. Mm -hmm. They make up, they break up, they have some challenges, but they call it coupling and recoupling. So what do you do with a successful show? You give it a spin-off. You give it a spin-off. Spin well, I mean, I will say I have watched Love Island. Okay. And Come on, I, Mary. my cousin was like, I was like, I wasn't really into it. And she came over and she was like, we gotta watch it. And I'm like, Are you blaming it on your cousin? I'm Are blaming you really it on my cousin. a Love Island fan? I'm I got it's sucked okay. in. It's okay. I say that, you know what? It's not gonna make you smarter, no. but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Truly, really, that is how I felt. Yeah. So, so, so Love Island Games brings together all the fan favorites yeah. from the US, from UK, from Australia, and beyond. And you know what? They got a second shot of love. And oh. who doesn't need a second shot of anything? 100%. And so not only could you walk away with a partner, you could walk away with a $100,000 prize. Oh my yes. gosh. But like, like love and like um, you, when you're partnered with somebody, mm -hmm. it is a commitment mm -hmm. because they had new episodes six days a week on Crave. It's already streaming. Six days a yes, week? I know, but Mary, I feel like you know that already. I <laughs> mean, I'm not gonna lie. When you Even when you said like Love Island UK is coming in, I was like, that's messy. And that's it. That's the messy one. Yeah. So from your cousin yeah. to you knowing about Love Island UK. I may very well okay. be tattling on myself. Okay, my reporter <laughs> knows that my spidey senses are tingling. Yeah. It's okay. Well, okay, again, taking another turn okay. here. We're gonna talk about season two of HBO Max's Julia. Oh my gosh. What a this show. show. Mm -hmm. So with all my picks, I thought of you, but mm -hmm. this one especially. Mm -hmm. So HBO Max is Julia. Season two, it um, talks about, of course, the iconic life and legacy of the iconic chef, Julia Child. Mm -hmm. And you know, yes, right? Yeah, it's just, just, yeah. just, just amazing. And her her long running series, The French Chef, mm -hmm. which re really was a pioneer for the modern day cooking show. Yeah. So I feel like from Julia Child to Mary Bird, oh my I'm gosh. sitting in front of me. <laughs> but not only does it explore her life and the cinematography oh. is beautiful, it's just a beautifully shot show. Mm -hmm. um, it really examines a time in American history, mm -hmm. uh, the women's movement, mm -hmm. feminism, you know, the, the nature of celebrity, mm -hmm. and uh, just um, America as a whole at that time. Yeah. So it, yes, it's cooking, yes, it's Julia Child, but it takes a look at at the world, at, at, at the world at large, and it yeah. really is um, a special show. It really is a special show, and I love how 
she, the, the person who's portraying Juliet, she mm -hmm. really leans into digging into food. And I love that. I love seeing a lady just enjoying food and on TV. Mm -hmm. It's where nice. Do we, where else do we yeah. see that? Oh, yes. That's why I a little stuff. nod to Julia when Absolutely. I take two and big so bites. That, that show, the season two premieres November 16th on Crave. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, now, obviously, I'm so excited about this show that you want to talk about. Canada's Drag Race is back for a fourth season. Oh, premiering tomorrow it. at 9 p.m. Eastern on Crave. So, well, I mean, that's why I had to have a little, a little sequin on. A little glam. And a little leopard print. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be a judge on Canada's Drag Race, not have a little sequence. No. So, um, yes, back for season four, 11 fabulous, incredible Canadian queens. Yeah. And let me tell you, you're going to see some unbelievable runway looks, some slaying lip sync battles. Oh, oh hi, Belinda Berger. Hey, yeah. Brooklyn Heights. Oh, I'm my doing gosh. the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a killer snatch game. Mm -hmm. And there are twists and turns, a twist so big. I'm going to say that we haven't seen something like this in any of the Drag Race franchises in her story. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, it's really big. When, we, when, when Brooklyn announced it to the queens, they were gooped and gagged, and I think the fans <laughs> are gonna be so much so. It's, it's just really a flawless season mm -hmm. and so diverse. Mm -hmm. And judged by, of course, none other than the Queen of the North, yes. Brooklyn Heights, mm -hmm. celebrity stylist Brad Gresky, myself. Mm -hmm. but, we, but like every other season, we have an incredible lineup of guest judges. I have my list here because I don't want to leave anybody out. Let's that's do not it. Fair. Mm -hmm. Nelly Furtado. Oh my gosh, amazing. I, yes, she was recently announced as the host of the Junos this year. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be exciting. Model Winnie Harlow, mm -hmm. Countess Luann mm -hmm. from The Real Housewives, Tegan and Sarah, as we just saw, Jada Essence Hall, Raja, Sarin Fox, who's been a regular in Canada's Drag Race. We love her. Mm -hmm. uh, Rev. Oh, right Look, on. She's just here the good yes, stuff, she was. right? Right? Vogue's Christian Allaire, mm -hmm. and I want to name check the queens because they've worked so hard and they look so amazing. Um, in, in, in alphabetical order, because, you know, I don't want the queens to get mad at me. No. <laughs> Amy, <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah. Amy Yonsei Chanel, Aurora Matrix, Denim, Kiki Ko, Kitten Caboodle, uh, Luna Dubois, I know fabulous oh. names, uh, Melinda Verga, Near Enough, mm -hmm. CC Superstar, The Girlfriend Experience, and Venus. So oh. everybody's accounted for. Check, 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 check. Mm -hmm. In season four of Canada's Drag Race premieres November 16th, 9 p.m. Eastern. Yep, it's a Thursday mm -hmm. on Crave. It is a Thursday. Yes, it's a Thursday. Listen, I know what I'm doing. And yes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I mean, I mean, I was there and I'm excited because just, I just, it's it's so em empowering for the queens yeah. and, and to be to be launched into the world like this. Yeah. And I just think it's just a beautiful thing. And Canada's Drag Race drinks bring so much joy yeah. and so much glamour mm -hmm. and so much fun. And sometimes a few tears. Yeah. And of course, a little bit of shade. I was going to say, a just little bit a of just, into just shade. Just a scooch of shade. Yeah. He, he can't have the sun without the shade. It's true. Yeah. I love that. Well, Tracy, I am so excited. Thank you so, so much for sharing thank all this you. stuff. Is there any mac and cheese anywhere? Girl, backstage, we'll get you some mac and cheese. All right, thank you so, Thanks, so much. Mary. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.